My name is Chris Bacco. I'm a security engineer here at Sentinel. I'll be guiding us through this product demo today. Before we get into that, let's do a quick review on, on the agenda on exactly what we're going to be covering today. I'm going to start out with the architecture and deployment. I'm going to jump into the actual product itself and review Tenable's vulnerability priority rating, as well as begin to speak about Tenable's risk-based vulnerability management approach. Taking a look at architecture and deployment. On the left-hand side of the page here, we're going to start with Tenable IO. This is a cloud-hosted software-as-a-service vulnerability management platform. All customer data is completely segmented and completely siloed. All customer data has at least one layer of AES-256 encryption applied to it while at rest and in, while in transmission using, TL, using TLS 1.2 or 1.3, depending on what's available. If you are looking at scanning public-facing assets, so anything with a public IP address within your DMZ or anything like that, you can leverage a cloud scanner that's a part of Tenable IO. And when you go to scan internal assets or anything within your internal network itself, that's where you're going to be deploying a Nessa scanner. Now you're not licensed per scanner, so feel free to strategically place these throughout your internal network, the other side of firewalls and the other side of VPN tunnels within different geographic locations within your organization. When you go to deploy a scanner, you've got a couple of options. You can import the OVA into VMware using our Tenable core appliance. We also have a Hyper-V version of that as well. You can also install on uh, different operating systems. We have a variety of operating systems we support from 32-bit versions of Windows up to your latest versions of Windows Server, various Linux flavors, as well as OS X. From a hardware perspective, you're looking at four cores, eight gigs of RAM, and 50 gigs of storage space per scanner deployed. For those of you that have completed a cloud migration or in the process of migrating to the cloud, within the different cloud environments, you can easily deploy a Nessus scanner as well. In the AWS and Azure marketplaces, there are Nessus scanners available to auto provision directly from, and those communicate outbound on port 443 as well. For your remote workforce, for users that are working from home or coming on and off your network frequently, we have the Nessus agent. This is not a required part of Tenable IO, but it is an option to gain additional visibility into those assets that might be hard to reach or might not be on your internal network all the time. As long as the internet connection is present, you'll be able to run a scan against an asset with an SS agent installed on it. Once again, we have a variety of operating system support. They are designed to be lightweight, low, not impacting the endpoint, and then once again, as long as an internet connection is present, you'll be able to run a vulnerability scan against those agents, and all of that vulnerability data gets pushed up into Tenable IO. Tenable IO is acting as that aggregation point. All that vulnerability data being acquired through your Nessus scanners, as well as your Nessus agents, will reside in Tenable IO itself. Now, when you first log into Tenable IO, you're going to be greeted with two different things. First, up top, the cyber exposure newsfeed. This is designed to just kind of alert our customers to the latest vulnerabilities that have come out. It links back to the Tenable blog site, covers all the CVEs affected, uh, just giving you some additional insights into those vulnerabilities that have recently come out, come out in the last week or so. As we scroll down the page, you're going to be greeted with our vulnerability management overview. This is one of a series of dashboards that are available within Tenable IO. These are customizable for, from a widget perspective. What these are designed to do is give you a high level view into exactly what's going on within your environment. Uh, we'll be breaking things down by SLA age, uh, critical and high exploitable vulnerabilities, introducing you to some vulnerability trending as well, and showing you some additional functionality that's currently available. It's also going to introduce you to our vulnerability priority rating. This is tenable step into predictive prioritization. What this is doing is determining either A, the likelihood that a vulnerability will turn, will turn exploitable in the next 28 days, or if, it is or if it currently has a known exploit, different attributes for that exploit. Is it something that can be executed from a remote position on the network, for instance? Or is it something that requires physical access to the asset itself? All of these characteristics are taken into consideration, and then a score is applied to that vulnerability from zero to 10. This is a dynamic scoring system. This vulnerability priority rating score will update on a nightly basis as new information becomes available to Tenable. We're pulling in roughly 150 different data points when we calculate this score, and we're gonna be changing that on a daily basis as new information becomes available to us. All of our dashboards are designed to be exportable. So this is an easy way to start getting data out of the product if we need to, either in PDF, PNG, or JPEG format. You can schedule these exports and they can be emailed out of the platform accordingly. 